I am here today to talk about Genshin Impact, a brand new game that is released by Mihojo and it is free to play. I never thought that I would say that I enjoy and even kind of love a free game. Like, I don't know what has happened, but I am obsessed with this game. It is out on PC, which has a cross save over to Android. And it is also out on PS4. It is free. I have not spent any money in this game. I don't think I will either. You don't really have to. So it is an open world action combat RPG with an anime style to it. And I have been looking forward to this game because it looks so much like a game for me. I don't think a game can get more me than this. It is anime style. It's a green grass game, <laughs> as I like to call games with very colorful lush green grass. I don't know, it's just something about that that really attracts me to a game. The colors and the look of the game. Oh my god. So yeah, I started playing this on the dot when it was released because I had it pre-installed on my PS4. So I started playing this game on my PS4 and the first impression was that the frame rate wasn't really good on the PS4. But never mind that, I enjoyed the game for about 4 hours on my PlayStation 4 and then I downloaded it on my PC just to compare performance. And oh my god was I surprised. This is way better on the PC. Way better on the PC. Just so much more smoother. It looks like and it seems like this was more built to be played on a PC more than anything. I have tried this game now on all three platforms that it is currently out on. Android, yeah, actually on my cell phone. Can you imagine? I never play any games on my cell phone. And now I am kind of a new person who plays on their cell phones. But this impressive game actually plays on my cell phone. That blows my mind. It's like, I can't get over that fact that I'm playing on my cell phone. But playing this on the PC, that was the best way to go. I recommend playing this on the PC. So smooth and so pretty and no glitches. This game feels finished and polished. I found no flaws in this game. It is smooth as butter. So yeah, I am impressed with this game. And I can't, for the life of me, believe that it is free. So anyways, I had a great first impression with this game. And it is kind of... I don't know, I'm, I'm obsessed with this game right now, to be honest with you. The story in this game is that you are going to save your brother. That is all you need to know, basically. But you choose to play either as a male or female in the beginning of the game. And then you will get more characters. You're not stuck on one character, but on the other hand, there are no actual character customizations. So there are characters that you can collect. You get about, I don't know, I, I've gotten four so far through the main story of the game that you will get no matter what. But there are also characters that you can obtain through something called wishes, the gotcha system. The gotcha system, which is a new word, by the way, gotcha. I had never heard about that word. That is a weird name. So it means that you spend real life money to get these things that you can... You get characters or weapons from this. So it's kind of like loot boxes. But I haven't spent any money in this game. And honestly, you don't have to either. I've gotten a ton of characters already with the in-game wishes that you get through normal play and normal progression through the game. Don't spend money in this game, you don't have to. So in this game you have a main story quest line and you also have of course a bunch of side quests and world bosses. It's an open world and you do a lot of exploring in this world, which I love. You often come across chests that are guarded by enemies and when you defeat them you get to open the chest. There's so many chests in this game, so many secrets, so many fun things to explore and figure out. I mean, you don't need to watch any videos about this game on YouTube. YouTube. You should just jump into it and take it all in as a first impression, a genuine first impression for yourself. It's pretty much what I did and it's so exciting. This game has a great map. I really appreciate the detailed maps like this. It's so satisfying. And on this map you can also fast travel to a bunch of points and you unlock the map just like in 
Breath of the Wild, which a bunch of people are comparing this game to. I may compare it a tiny bit as well. But you unlock the map by uncovering these sort of shrine things. You also unlock a bunch of fast traveling points. So in this game, you can collect a bunch of characters, okay? And they all have their unique play style, their unique look, even actually lore and backstory behind each and every character. And they have elemental effects. Like some characters are pyro, which means fire. Some are ice, some are wind, some are geo, some are electric, etc. And it's so much fun to mix up the elements that you are using. Think Pokemon, okay? From Pokemon, we all know that fire is good against grass and fire is good against ice, that sort of thing. Gotta think like that when you go up against an enemy. The thing is, you can have four active characters set to one to four on your keyboard and switch out between your characters on the fly all the time and that is so much fun and it goes so smoothly so i mean you can even mix elements and there's a whole list online on how to do that and what it means but i haven't figured out all of that yet but it's so exciting so about the gacha system i recommend there's a little tip from me only roll in tens never roll a single one and when you play this game, you will know what I mean when I say that. Always roll in tens. So this game also has dungeons. Okay, so the comparison between this game and Breath of the Wild, I got that feeling when I got to dungeons. They are so much like shrines in Breath of the Wild. I mean, they look like them, they have the same sort of length to them. I love them. And another thing is that you can fly, you know, or glide rather, just like in Breath of the Wild, and the climbing, and the stamina bar. All of these things are apparently taken from Breath of the Wild in some form of inspiration, I guess. That was a bad sentence. But I don't feel like this game is a ripoff of Breath of the Wild. I feel like this is its own thing with some inspiration from other games, obviously, because all games nowadays are in some way, shape or form taking inspiration from some other game. But it's like almost everything has been done up to this point. So, I mean, you can say that about every game. Another thing is that you level up in something called adventure rank. That is your overall adventure rank level. It is what matters in the game. Some quests and some other types of improvements within the game are locked behind you having to be a certain adventure rank. But you also have character levels. Levels on each and every separate character that you have. And when you have an adventure rank under 15, that means the max cap of character level is 20. But you can go way beyond that once you also increase your adventure rank. I like this leveling system. It's fresh and unique and it doesn't remind me of anything. The game has achievements and I am so into achievements. And it actually also has a lot of books to collect. A lot of texts in this game. There's so much effort put into this game that I'm liking the developers of this game already. I mean, I really feel like they took their sweet time to polish this game. It feels very finished, and I can't believe I'm saying that about, you know, a free game and also a newly released game. There's always something that developers are patching, you know. But this feels so solid. From the get-go, I mean, the story is good and the storytelling in this game is good. Everything is beautifully voice acted and the animations are so fluid and so good. I can only praise this game and it is free, so you know, you can't argue with free. I think that you all should at least give this game a try. Now, preferably on PC. PS4 is fine. Android if you are <laughs> that sort of person. But I mean, I'm playing on Android, so I'm that sort of person. <laughs> suddenly. I've never played any games on my phone before, so, you know, I hate mobile games. I'm not really fond of microtransactions either, but I am the sort of person that can resist microtransactions. Now, this formula in games, gotcha system or microtransactions, they are unfortunately very unfortunate for people that can't resist and that easily give in, I guess, to this sort of temptation, but I'm not that sort of person. I've played several tons of games that are free in my life and I've never spent any money in any of them. Not that I can think of or remember. So, you know, I am not the target for spending a lot of money in a game like this, the free-to-play genre thing. 
but honest to god you don't have to spend any money in this game you are getting characters as you play so the switch version of this game it is announced but the release date isn't announced so it's coming but we don't know when and if you guys want to you can add me in this game as a friend i'm playing on american servers because i know um i have more followers in america than in europe and you know the ping was good I mean, this game is so much me that, I mean, if you just throw in some farming, a customizable home and a dating system, <laughs> this would be the perfect game for me. I'm very happy with this game. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna play it now after recording this video. So I hope you also enjoy Genshin Impact. It really impressed me. And it is so beautiful. I want to hear which characters are your favorite. I mean, leave all the nerdy comments down below and I will read it all. I'm so into this game right now and I want to discuss this game with all of you. So I hope to see you down, down there in the comment section. Now, thank you so much for watching and that was all for today, folks. I never do an outro like that, ever. Sort of like that, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> see ya.